Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do another collective haul. This time I want to do Sephora, Ulta, and Kose. Also, I ordered some Korean beauty stuff online. So if time is not too long, I will do that as well. And yeah, if you like haul, if you want to see what I got, just please keep watching. So let's start with the good old Sephora. So I went into the store the other day and I picked up this Fenty Beauty Cheek Hugging Highlight Brush. I have heard amazing stuff online. Essentially people saying that this brush, here is a picture in the back, goes really well with her Fenty Beauty highlight. And I do own the highlight called Trophy Wife, which is the gold one. And also I think she just repackaging for her 30th birthday. So I really love the color. I know it's kind of a crazy color, but I never had any highlight like that. So I'd love to put that in my collection. And I do realize one thing, when you apply it using your finger, it can get a little bit like all over the place. So you can see, cause it's kind of like a glitter. So that's why when I found out they have this highlighting brush and a lot of people online saying that it goes really well with the highlight i'm like yes i have to give it a try so this brush i believe retail for 32 dollars which is actually pretty pricey in my opinion so here is the inside looks like i love that they have the extra plastic packaging just to protect the brush so when you open it up here is the brush i also love that they have little protector here it's just all the things goes like all the details goes into the um, products, you know. I I still don't know if I will pay thirty dollars because it's a pretty penny. Especially there are so many amazing dupes, which actually I'm gonna share one real quick. Ooh, this this kind of a packaging just really hard to get out of. But um, I don't know if thirty dollars is worth it because here while i'm trying to figure this one out i actually also have this wet and wild precision foundation brush but it's essentially similar shape as this one as you can see but this one is like 5.99 or something like that and i think this is their uh, new limited edition rose gold collection i have already using the powder brush which is right here you can see i really really love it it's so soft so here is the Wild n Wild foundation brush. I get it, like here is more for foundation, you just buff it out. But also I can feel like you can use this as a highlight cause it's just really like a angled shape. So for this one, oh, I'm trying to just tear up the protector so that I can get to the product. Here. It's way smaller actually. See, here is the Fenty Beauty one. I do love this kind of a nude color and then it feels really, really nice. I think that this is definitely a trend for those kind of packagings. And then here, as you can see, that's a side-by-side -side comparison. And it does cut like a really unique shape so that when you do your highlight, it will be like this. This might be a little bit big for highlight, I would say, because it's mostly for foundation, but obviously you can just hold it and then do this. But I prefer this one. I feel like one swipe like this. So yeah, I really, really like it. And um, in terms of the weight, I'd say those two are almost the same weight. I actually think this is a little bit heavier, maybe because of the material. As you can see, I'm wearing highlight right now. So let's just mix it up a little bit. I love the shape. I think it's very easy to use, especially for the shape you wanna uh, apply your highlight to, cause it's just nice angled brush. So yeah, I love it. I'm now like, I, I guess I'm just not really like saying, okay, I'm over the heels for it because this is $32. So it's pretty pricey. So I don't know if that's something that I would recommend to someone or whatnot, but I really, really love this kind of uh, shape. So yeah, that's the first item. And then the second item, I picked up a Pat McGrath lip. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs. And I believe this is a matte one. I don't know, this didn't say it. So it's a Luxe Trends 
um, lipstick in the color 415 Apricot. So here is the packaging. Look how cute is the packaging. I really, really love my um, Pat McGrath's packaging. I think it's amazing. Like this is so amazing. And then it's like this. So it's really, really nice. And uh, once you open her up, here is the inside. I will save the packaging because I feel like this is a piece of art. Like I don't just want to throw it away. I feel like it's such wasteful. So here, look at that. How nice is that? And once you open it up, here is the inside looks like. It's just a traditional packaging. I want their Valentine's Day packaging, but it's already sold out online. And I believe it's an online only item, so I couldn't get it. But I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get it. I really love the color Omi. I think that's such a beautiful universal color. I think the other color is kind of like a blue red. I, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But I just don't feel like I see myself wearing that a lot. And these babies are pretty pricey. So I don't want to buy something that I'm not going to come in to use it. But this color, the apricot color, I feel like I can totally rock this color. It's just so beautiful. It reminds me of a color that I have in Tom Ford, but I personally think I like this better because I feel like this is cheaper than the Tom Ford, but in terms of the texture, in terms of the pigmentation, as well as the overall quality in the packaging, I honestly think these are better than Tom Ford. So if I want to buy something high-end, I will probably go for this one because I just think it's the overall better value. And I just love the color. So here, one swipe. Did you see that? Like just literally one swipe. So these have a pretty strong staying power. It will stay on your lip for a relatively long time and it won't move around because it's such a nice pigmented, like how to say, richness color. So it will stay on your lips for a relatively long time. And yeah, I just love everything about it. So that's my second item that I'm obsessed with. Next, I got a Sephora Pro Shave and a Smooth Facial Razor. So this one, I'm never someone that shaved my face. I know it's kind of a trend. I think Carly Bible, which is one of my favorite YouTubers, she did a video a long time ago called How to Shave My Face. And ever since that, I'm always like, I have been, I guess I have been introduced to the idea of how you can shave your face and then make your face more smooth. There's no peach fuzz, all that kind of stuff. But I just never went to that step to like actually do it. So the other day when I saw it online, I'm like, gosh, I really want to buy it. But it actually sold out online. That's one of the reasons why I went into the store. So as soon as I saw it in store, I'm like, yes, honey, I have to buy it. So here is the facial razor. And it's a superior quality facial razor with three replacement blades made from Japanese stainless steel. Designed especially for all facial hair grooming. Gently removes facial hair and a peach fuzz for a visibly smoother looking complexion. Small nimble blade allows for a closer, safer shave. To replace the blade, pull the plastic tab on the side of the razor tip to slide out. Slide in new replacement blade until it looks locks in place. Warning, blade is very sharp. Keep out of reach of children. Replace safety cover when not in use. So yeah, since it's pretty sharp, so that's why you have to have safety cover. But honestly, let me tell you, when I saw it online, because of the picture, I saw it was a plastic razor. I believe this is like $16 or something, less than 20. So it's a pretty um, decent price, in my opinion. And this is actually, a, how to say, like a bronze pack, uh, material. So it's not, um, it's not like plasticky, kind of cheap feeling. Maybe that's why it charge a higher price, but I think it's really fair pricing. So I just love it. I just, a lot of people rave about it, like how they change their life, blah, blah, blah. For me, I don't have a lot of peach fuzz. The only hair I have on my face is the little hair around my mouth and then sometimes the, like the brow. But I'm not gonna touch my brow because I just don't want to. So for the little hair around my mouth, I usually do a wax when I go get my nails done. Like in my nails place, they have a lady who does like all the hairs and stuff. But uh, we shall see, I might give it a try. So yeah, that's the next item I got from Sephora. And then 
I also get, let's see, where is it? I also get a pencil sharpener. So this is the Sephora brand pencil sharpener. Actually, I got this one because one of my good friend, I saw her Snapchat, so that's why I found out that you have um, this kind of sharpener. Cause usually the sharpener will be like the smaller one. I have ones from like Anastasia Beverly Hills and then I have one from NARS. So it's like, they just like small section like this, like a small one. But this one is just like a big one. So it's like size of, very sizable and then just really big. And I just love it. I feel like this will be really, really handy when you're trying to go um, travel and also the bigger the better honestly because then you won't like lose it that easily because I literally just keep losing my um this sharpener and they're pretty pricey like I think Anastasia one is like six dollars or something it's like made in Germany so it's actually pretty pricey so yeah I just really really love this and I picked this one up so let's see the next item I got from Sephora, actually I have this in a while now, I just never mentioned it. So this is a two-piece sunshine oil and a cooling water from Milk Makeup. So here is the packaging looks like. How cute is the packaging? I really, really love it. And I have using a whole full bottle of the cooling water. I really, really like it. Like I even introduced it to people like around me, they all really, really like it. So that's why I really want to repurchase it. And uh, the reason why I didn't get a big one is because I have uh, so many facial mist. I have facial cooling mist. So I don't want to just, you know, keep buying a lot of stuff that I couldn't use. So I'm just like, great, let me just buy a small one. I always want to try the sunshine oil because I heard great things online. And the full size is like 30 something dollars, I believe. And I mean, it's, I, I just say it's a fair pricing, but I just personally don't think I will use a whole bottle. I still have a ton of facial oil that I couldn't use out of. I have like a Shiseido one, which is like $200 or something. And I couldn't like just finish it. So I'm just like, okay, let's just, I guess just, I don't know, like just sits there. Sometimes I'll just use the body oil, which I think is kind of waste because the special technology for their face is more like, um, sophisticated than the body but whatever so here is essential oil and then you just have a roller ball so here see you just roll with it and then that's the oil right there that's the oil right there so yeah pretty handy dandy and pretty good and also I just love the size I think it's so cute and then we also got this cooling water and this actually, I think this is the OG of all the cooling things. Cause I don't know if I showed you guys already or not. Recently I got a ID puffer from Physicians Formula and a lot of people really, really like them. Even like the Glam Life Guru Tardy, she did a video on them and it was sold out everywhere. Like my local Walmart, my local Target, it was sold out for a while. So I just think it's pretty popular. I feel like this, they kind of copy the design because I had a cooling water even from at least a year ago if not two years ago so I really really like it you just roll it out you can use this as a cooling deep puffer as well I'm pretty sure it's the same kind of effect or you can just use it all over your face just to give your skin extra hydration during you know hot weather the weather is already getting hot here so yeah I really really love this little mini size goodies all right, moving on. The next item that I got, actually I got in the sales section, cause when it first came out, I really, really like it. I think they're cute, but I don't know if it's worth the price cause it's pretty pricey. So when I saw it on sale, I'm like, yes, I have to get it. So this is a Becca Light Chaser Highlighter for face and eye. And mine's in the shade Rose Quads. Here is the packaging looks like. I really, really love it. It's smaller than their traditional highlighting packaging but I still think it's so cute, like the mini size. And once you open it up, here is the products. I love this color. I have already used it and I think it's just beautiful. I wish it was a little bit more like shimmery cause this kind of is a little bit dull in my opinion, honestly. It's not like a very shiny kind of a shimmery kind of 
highlight to say but it's not bad it's definitely definitely a very wearable daily highlight I'd say so yeah this is just a light chaser I just love it I think it's so cute and it's like the small packaging but if you really ask me which one I like it better I actually like the Makeup Revolution soft Sophie X highlighter because I think those are just more like closer to my taste and those are so bomb let me show you guys gosh it's so hard to open so here is all the products right here and then you have this yellow one I really love the yellow one so right here can you see that super good and then you also have this white one look at that it's really really good so I personally think in terms of pigmentation my personal taste more in line with this but this one if you're more like someone that's like subtle makeup and then you like a little bit something and then you like the nice packaging I think you can go for it but if you're someone you feel like you want a better band for your buck I feel like this one really can deliver a great result and also on top of that you have eight shades that's a lot of shades you know what I'm saying it's like eight shades so yeah you can just really run out of options in my opinion and I love the packaging just super cute so yeah that's that and uh, the last one from Sephora actually it's not a recent purchase oh sorry actually I have another one actually this one I got it from Ulta but anyway it's fine it's the new Stila shimmer and a glow liquid eyeshadow so here is the packaging first of all how cute is the packaging i love it and this is called jezebel so the name is pretty cool i really really love it because this reminds me a lot of the kitten karma but i think this is more wearable so here is the color can you see that especially if you're a working lady you just want something on your eyelid you throw this on your eyelid and then look at that Bam, you're just good to go honestly that's how I feel you're just good to go like this so it's really really nice and then I really really love Stila I think it's a great brand yeah what else can I say I just feel like this is pretty great other than that I don't know what else can I say I just yeah this is really really great so here is this pretty good right yeah so that is actually from Alta but I'm sure you can find it in Sephora as well. Alright, before I leave, one last thing. It's not really a Sephora exclusive, but I just want to say it. It's that I think Marc Jacobs is coming back with the second round of summer collection. You know how big their summer collection is? And this is a bronzer, a fantastic bronzer. Honestly, if you just invest in a nice bronzer, I think this is the one. Because look i got it last year i know i used it quite a lot it doesn't even move and uh, smells amazing as usual and here is the color i think the pigmentation is still there it's not like oh it's a year old so you know it's not working it's working quite well if you ask me look at that i really really like it i think the colors and everything is really really nice so here I just like it. I just think this is amazing and the, I love the packaging. So sleek and everything. There is a reason why it's one of like the YouTube favorites for last year. So yeah, that's that. Okay, moving on. I actually got a bunch of exciting stuff from Morphe. So I'm gonna share with you right now. The first item that I got is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really, really love it. I'm not affiliated with Morphe whatsoever like you guys sometimes I'm also skeptical of the Morphe whole marketing um, strategy I guess but this one is no joke it's really really good and they have such a cooling sensation like a lot of brands they say they have cooling sensation and I agree with it they do have cooling sensation but it's not cooling enough for me you know what I'm saying but this one this one delivers this one is cool enough for me so let me do a little bit more And it smells great like you should go try yourself and smell for yourself and I think the mist is so funny milk it's a micro fine mist and you just 
yeah, you just use it and it smells great. I really think it's a great product. I, if anything, you get one thing from Morphe, I'd say go for this one because it's just so good. It's not like people saying it's good because they get paid. It's really, really good. I just love it. And the smell, I cannot describe it. It's a nice smell. It's not a floral scent. It's not a fruity scent. It's a nice scent, but it's not overpowering. It's not overwhelming. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. This is $15. I know it's kind of out there for Morphe because I was thinking like $10. That's my, I guess that's my price range before I came in and did my research on Morphe. But this is 15 but I think it's worth it. So I really, really love this one. All right, next, I got a Morphe brush. This is the, I think this is one of Laura Lee's favorites. I really like Laura Lee. I think she's pretty funny and then I think she works really hard. So... I also, this is a Morphe Y6, so this is their gold collection, but don't be fooled, this is not really, you know, quality gold, because you can feel so it's pretty cheap feeling, but I like the flat top, I think it's so amazing, and I love that you can buff it in, so yeah, I just, all in all, I think I like it, this is a foundation brush, I'm gonna use it for foundation, I have a good feeling about it, and then I get another brush, this one, it's a Morphe M335. So this, I think it's a concealer brush like you use underneath your eyes, like dot, 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 or doing like here. So it's for concealing. I really, really like it. I think it's so bomb. And yeah, I just, I just personally really think it's bomb and I like it. I love like you just dot, 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 conceal it, conceal it. So that's that. Next, we have the last one from the Morphe brush. We have an eyeshadow brush. So this is a Morphe M139 brush. And as you can see, it's kind of like a pencil brush. So it's pretty nice. And then you have like a nice shape. You just use it for your crease. I think this is really, really nice for detail work, especially you just put it inside of your crease and then buff it out and it's ready to go. So I personally love this brush. So that's the three brushes I got from Morphe. Then I also got three lip liner. I used one today actually on my lip. That's why I couldn't find it because every time I use something, I just misplaced it. That just stored with me. But then I have that another two. This is a Morphe color pencil crayon. So here is the pencil. And this is only $3 each. I think it's so bomb. And I was in the checkout line. I was about to check out, but then I'm like, okay, let me just play with a pencil. So that's where I just come in and uh, let me tell you, those pencils are bomb. First off, look how long the pencil is. And also this is from Linda. I believe she is the founder of Morphe. So there is a color under her name, which I love. So let me show you. Did you see that? How pigmented is that? I think this blow MAC pencil out of the water because these are so creamy, so easy to use. And I think this is in the range almost as like Kylie's pencil, but way cheaper. You buy one Kylie pencil, you buy like five out of Morphe. So look at that. Super pigmented. You don't even need to use the lipstick. You just use the lip pencil to fill out your whole lip. So that's the first one that I got in Linda. I really, really like it. That's the second thing I highly recommend. Obviously, Morphe brush, that's their, you know, bread and butter. That's where they started. But they do expand into amazing other product line. For example, the Mist, amazing. And then this pencil, equally amazing. So here, this is the second Morphe. And then, can you see that? So Linda is a little bit muted compared with this called Mina. I love both. I think they're both so pretty. For me, I'm wearing on my lip, I'm wearing Ginger, which is a color. And also on top of that, I'm wearing a Marc Jacobs lipstick just to tone it down a little bit. Cause Ginger is a pretty bright pink, which I love. But then I kind of want to tone it down a little bit just to match my nails a little bit. So I use a Marc Jacobs lipstick all over it. But I love it. It's just so bomb. It's really, really great. All right, they gave me a sample from Morphe. This is the eyelid primer. It's the 12 hour long wear waterproof 
primer so here is a primer and it is ten dollars which i think is fair i do feel like after they rebrand their whole brand they did raise their price a little bit because this usually will be like eight or maybe seven but i like the new branding i think it's amazing plus now they have retail stores so i can play with it and i can walk in i think the whole retail experience still cannot be replaced by online because I'm not someone that I like to buy online, wait around and then get a product and I don't like it in return. Sometimes I just take it because I'm just lazy. That actually costs me more money. So I actually crave to go into store, play with it, especially with like makeup product. You really want to know, you really want to swatch it. So that is great. So here is the eyelid primer and it's $10. And I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you guys know. All right, from Morphe, one last thing. How can I go to Morphe without a palette? They are the queen of palettes. Let's just be honest. They have all kinds of palettes. So this time, the palette that I got is this Morphe 24G Grand Glam. And this is their newest palette. And it is in store everywhere. So I think they're pushing this one now. And let me tell you, it's the bomb. So are you ready for it? Boom, 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 boom. Here is a palette. Look how beautiful. I know they're all palette looks kind of similar, but this one really caught my eyes because the warm tones and also because of the gigantic size. So let me compare size for you guys. Here I have this palette from Essence. I pretty much believe I mentioned in my other video. If you go check it out. And let me just open one for you. So here we have this individual eyeshadows right here. And let's just put it out right here. So here is the Morphe and the, can you see the size difference? And keep in mind, these have a round size to it. You know what I'm saying? Like they have a round size to it. So can you see that? It's really, the size difference is like very very obvious this they said is 2.2 times the size of their original morphe which i love because if you love a shade and if you're a makeup art artist especially you want to keep using that shade and you don't want to run out so with this big palette it won't run out so that's just a cool thing about it all right, the next item I want to talk about is this mask from Dr. Jard. As soon as I saw this online, I'm like, yes, I have to get it because this is just so cool. And here you see there's a face here, which is not creepy at all. But anyway, this is called the Shake and Shot Instant Brightening Boost. So it's a rubber brightening mask and they have a bunch of other masks like targeting like hydrating or anti-aging aging. and I chose the boost one because I feel like in the spring I want my skin to glow and really have a nice uh, shine to it. So you just basically, this is super cool though. Like it's not as you saw like here, I initially thought that this will just be like a packaging, you know what I'm saying? And then you have this as like a sheet mask, but it's actually not. So you actually do have to shake like a cocktail and a shot. So this is a number one, which is called the Super Booster. So you put this one in first inside of the cup. Then number two is the rubber brightening mask. So you put this one second. And once you pull those two, you shake it literally like a cocktail. And then you actually using the spatula, which is on this side. How cute is this? They're so smart. And then you put it on your face and then you wait 15 to 20 minutes. So then you peel it off. So yeah, I just can't wait to try this because I always love to mix in things. It's just part of me if I'm not like doing what I'm doing I'm probably I'm not saying I'm gonna be a bartender because I probably I don't think my mom will never ever let me to be but I want to do something like kind of related to that so it's pretty cool that this allows me to do that and how cute is the packaging like as soon as I put this in the frame it just instantly looks so much cuter don't you think it's just like instantly you just I just love it so yeah that's that and then 
I also got this SMP. It stands for Shiny Natural Purity Diamond Brightening Mask. So this is imported from South Korea. I bought it online and it is the diamond mask. In this pack, I believe you have, well, you actually have a lot. So you have so many. Oh my gosh. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have ten masks. That's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to some of my friends. Honestly, if you're watching, I don't know. I, I'm i recently maybe planning to go to a trip back to my old school. So stay tuned. So this is a Diamond Brightening Emperor mask. So you have this diamond thing here. And it says it will be good for just... I actually didn't have a description in English, I believe. So it's just directions, I think. So you just use this after you cleanse your face and tone your skin and apply the mask to the face evenly, centering around the eyes and the mouth. So leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and peel that mask from the face. Then you would pat gently any remaining essence into the skin. So yeah, you just wear it like a she mask and then you use the essence. So I really want to try it because anything with brightening, I just want to try it. And I read reviews online, people are liking this and saying that they're really working and then it's like, you know, make their skin really smooth and shiny like diamonds and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, yes, like see how cute is the packaging. The packaging literally shines. So I don't even want to put on the screen for too long so that I don't blind you guys. And the next item is actually another Korean brand. Like I'm just obsessed with Korean beauty and Japanese beauty. But I do like Korean beauty a little bit more because I feel like they're edgier, if that makes sense. I feel like Japanese beauty are really cool, but they're more on the elegant side. Like they're just either just super expensive, like Shiseido or Clay de Paul, like you know what I'm saying? Like, or you're just like, I don't know, some of other stuff like this. I like it. I really really love this is from can make I really love their stuff but I feel like Korean beauty just really nails that skincare and also really affordable and a trendy skincare so this actually got from Ulta so this is called julep triple crunchy so you have the ampoule gel apparently everyone in South Korea is popular using this and then you have this the second one is the natural biocellulose gel sheet mask so it's a gel sheet mask which is bomb and then you have the sleeping pack so you just use this one so in the back it gives you like the directions like one two three four so yeah it's not as simple as just a plain sheet mask but it's also not that hard so i'm couldn't wait to try this one's actually pretty expensive this is like 12 bucks for one piece that's pretty expensive i'm not gonna lie so i wouldn't even say this is affordable because yeah but we shall see we shall see the result right it's all about the value and the next product that i got from alta is something i'm super excited actually i got this from Kohl's. And let me tell you, when I got this from Kohl's, I also found out they are carrying Alta. But I think they have a bug, because that time in Alta is literally 7 bucks. I literally thought about returning this one, because in Kohl's it's 14.5. It's not so bad either, but I mean, it's not 7 bucks. So I literally think about returning this one and just, you know, buy it again, like from... Uh, Alta, but I think they call the bug, so right now they're $18. So I think if that's the case, you should get it from Coast because it's a little bit cheaper, unless you have Alta points and all that kind of stuff. But here is the Shannon EXO palette. So Shannon is an Australian YouTuber. I really, really like her. I watch a lot of her videos already, and I think she also have her own like beauty shop. I never shop it from there, but. I heard great things about it. So this is her palette. I always want to try Actually, when Kylie first come with her eyeshadow palette, a lot of people are quick to point out that Shannon's palette is first because let me just show you. Here is the palette. Do you think that looks just like Kylie's? And this is like $14.5. Kylie's is like $42. But Kylie's packaging is pretty cute though, like I love the packaging and all the hype, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, this I love is because on the 
side. This is nine color eyeshadow palette. So on this side, you have nine colors. And those colors are super wearable colors. It reminds me of the first Kylie one, the bronze palette. That's why I didn't get that one because I don't really like it. And I feel like this one is just gonna do, but I just never, I guess it's never carried in Kohl's or Ulta. So I couldn't really get my hands on them. So I didn't get that one. So now since it's in Ulta and Kohl's now, that's why I got my hands on them. And I have already played around with it. It's really, really nice. So here is, shadow like a beautiful rose gold can you see it's pretty subtle so it's to my liking and uh, i love this color it's really, really nice and then you have this yellow color so it's a nice yellow color right here so yeah, all in all, this is a great palette. I just love it. I think it's so wearable to so many different occasions and everything. And then on this side, you have this lip colors. So you peel this off and here are the colors. I think those colors are more speak to me. Like I will use those more, but I also love this darker red and then also this beautiful pinky fuchsia color. I just think it's so bomb. So yeah, I love it, but this color definitely is my color. It already speaks to me. And I just like the fact that I can use like a lip brush to paint it and just use it. So yeah, love it, both sides. And also this side, I love this mirror. It comes with a mirror. It's not like a full size mirror, but it's still decent. So. I really highly recommend this palette because it's just so affordable and it's just such a great value. Especially if you don't have the Kylie Bronze palette, buy this one, don't buy that one. Unless she's on sale for like 20 something dollars, maybe buy it, but this one will just be as good, honestly. So that's that. And then I also got a foundation from Alta. So this is a new Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I have already saw reviews all over the place. I just Recently, actually I didn't recently pick it. I ordered online and then wait a little bit for it to ship and then I just didn't have time to talk to you guys about because I'm just busy. So now I just sit down. This is the cushion foundation that I got, not really recently. And I'm in the shade 108A Nude Beige. It's a light to medium shade, but on the warm side because honestly this might be too dark because now I'm pretty light, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm probably gonna turn dark pretty soon because the sun and everything and I'm starting to be more outdoor so but it might be a little bit too dark for now now I'm almost like an NC25 NC30 like sometimes in the dark like summer I can be like an NC40 like Chanel I can be like a 40 as well but now I'm literally like a 30 even like a 20 some in some brand so here, you just have a beauty, I guess, how to say, sponge. Just like the Korean beauty stuff. I really love the launch one. I think I got mine in my local Target. So check it out for that one. And then here is the cushion. Oh yeah, that's really dark. I mean, yeah, I think it will do. It's, when you swatch it, it's not that dark, but it looks dark here, see? but may, may not be that bad, so we shall see. But I love it, I think it's good. And then just put it here. And also I have this screen protector, so I'm gonna just peel it off. Huh, how do I peel it off? Couldn't really peel it off. Interesting. So let's just, I actually love this protector plastic -y thing. It's pretty nice quality. So here is a mirror. Looks really, really professional. And I love the artwork. I love brand that comes with artwork. I just always think it's so cool and very unique and original. So yeah. And this is all as usual as 50, 15 and cruelty free. So yeah, I love it. First impression wise, pretty good. See, it's starting to dry down. So. 
just pretty nice and it's a good color as well and I wouldn't mind being a little bit darker than I am so that I have a little bit of sun tan so yeah I love it moving on I have some very exciting stuff from Butter London because they're just really bomb recently so I have this, this is the first one, the Glazen Lip Glaze. So this is a new collection, it's called the Butter London Glazen, and this is a blush. I also have a Butter London um, face primer, I guess that's what they call. So it's this one, the Butter London Glazen Face Glow. So let's start with this one, shall we? First, the packaging, look at the packaging. Isn't that so nice? And it is a nice, beautiful face glow. So here is the inside looks like. And uh, it's prep, blur, and brighten and multitasking skin illuminator. So you can use this to wear alone or underneath makeup or wear on top of makeup. But you need to make sure to seal the cap tight every time for long lasting play. So this one is just a face illuminator and uh, if it's just any regular illuminator I wouldn't be so surprised but their new collection is so bomb look at the packaging the reason why I really really like it is because the color look at that look at that color so let me put it here look at that oh Okay, so I guess I'll use this hand because apparently I have leftover swatches. I'll just put on top of where I put the foundation. It's like a gel texture. That's why I just absolutely love it. So here is the inside. Then it looks like cream or melted cream or cheese. So here is the packaging. The product swatch. Sorry, not the packaging. Look how cute is that? It's so cute. I just love it so much. It's so soft. Like as soon as I saw it and I touch it, I play around with it. I'm like, yes, this honey, go home with me. Come home with me. Cause this is just so soft. And you also have this nice glow kind of a thing. So yeah, I think you can use it. It's really truly multi-using. I'm probably gonna mix in with my foundation because I love a glow, especially for now the weather is nice and warm. So I will mix this with foundation. The reason why I really think these are special instead of like the powder foundation is that it's truly you can customize them and mix in. I think that's what makes it so nice and special. So I love it. I just think it's bomb. So I'll keep using this. And the second one is the Butter London Glazing Blush. So I am in the shade Dazzle. They have four shades and also Kohl's carry them now as well. So if you have a close Kohl's closer to you, you can also go there. It's pretty bomb. So this is the blush gel. Here is the inside looks like. Look the little packaging. How nice. And the it's the same texture, you just touch it, and then that's the color. That is the color. So here is the color looks like. How do you guys like it? I love it, and it's such a beautiful, nice color. Probably gonna just use it alone, obviously. What can you do with a kind of red blush besides just use it on your cheek? But um, I really love the color. So let's see the last one. So the last one here is the lip product. I got one of each. So this one is the lip product. It's the Glazen Lip Glaze and it's 
a twist component. So here I haven't used it yet. So you twist it up and then you put right in the middle of the lip just to give like a nice glowy look. So yeah, I think this is so bomb. And this is the glazed lips with smooth air Dyson shine. So you have an iron Dyson finish. Let me twist it up for you guys. So you just twist it up like this. Oh, it's about to come out. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that iridescent. Isn't that so good? That is so good. It's really bomb.com and I love the um, design of the pen. It's really delicate with little butterflies. I love butterflies. So yeah, I just think this product is so bomb. So yeah, I still have a plenty of stuff to go in. I have some essence and then I have some Catrice. Really, really love it. I also have like the Adele Mag Magnetic Lashes, which I actually don't really like. I feel like, at least for me, it makes my lashes look too fake. So if you have like big eyes and you have like deep eye pocket, I think you will look so good in this. But for me, like personally, I don't like them, but I, I will use them singularly. And I also got this from Walmart. This is the L'Oreal Crushed Foil lipstick so this is what it looks like quickly share a little bit it's just a beautiful metallic finish can you see that how cute is that finish it's just so bomb i love this it's the bomb so i also love this packaging like look i just think it's just so cute such a nice packaging with this design it almost feels as if it's like a uh, lip like a tube but it's not so yeah I think that's what I want to share with you today I also got a new Stila glitter and a glow I will compare this with the other one because those are two different kind but this is for the face and the highlight instead of the eyes but it's the same color I got Kaden in this I always want this Kaden shade but I'm always like deciding whether I should get the puffer highlight or this one. But I love this one. It's pretty nice. So you can obviously use on your eyelid as well. But I prefer just to use on the face. And this is their Shimmer and Glow collection. So I have all of these. And then I have some Morphe from uh, Ulta. And then I have this. Sephora Pro Pigment Palette. So that's what it looks like. Look at that colors. How awesome is that color? I just love these colors. It's just so bomb. So yeah, that's all that. So I think I'll just end it here so that it won't be too long. But yeah, the next video I will definitely share with you more stuff from Target and then I have some from um, Nordstrom like this and then I have some from coals i have some tights so yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye